Well, it's been a hell of a week for musicians' birthdays yet again. We, oh, we're going to start. Oh, and, and actually, there's weirdly a lot of November 5th birthdays. There's just a bunch, including Mr. Ryan Adams. Ryan Adams, incredible songwriter, proud to say, a friend of the program. This is one of my favorite Ryan Adams songs. This is called To Be Young. A young guy, you done me bad, and I went and did you wrong. A young guy, you done me bad, so I went and did you wrong. And I got high, 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 high. Lord, I got high. And I got a bone to pick with you. And I'm sure you know it's true. But one day when you're looking back, you were young and mad. Sad. When you're young, you get sad. When you're young, you get sad. Then you get high, high, high. All the days the rain would fall your way. All the days the rain would fall your way. Then you get high. You got sad. Oh man! Oh man, Ryan Adams. Oh man, that is a song and a half right there. Or if we were gonna get technical about it, it's it's half a song. Um, in that state. Ooh, I was excited to see her name come up on the list. Miss Katie Lang. Katie Lang, November 2nd, which is my brother John's birthday. Happy birthday, brother John. Happy birthday, KD. I got to see KD for the first time this year live, and I have never seen a musician that committed to her extraordinary materials. I mean, or certainly not more committed. Uh, Miss Katie Lang, who could forget this number that she co-wrote? One, two, uh, one, two, three, uh. much. Thank you, Madison Cunningham. Did I actually say who could forget this next song? Like Time Life uh, collection of some kind. I, I, hear, I, I hereby vow never to do that in the middle of a birthday segment ever again. Who could forget? Mm, it's not happening anymore. Okay. Uh, on October 31st, which was Halloween. Andrew Norman, Andrew Norman, anyone, anyone? Andrew Norman, incredible composer, an alive composer, one that's still alive. And he's really, really good. He's a, he's a total hero of mine, Mr. Norman is. This is, uh, this is an excerpt from a piece he wrote called Sabina. Sabina, Sabina, I forgot to ask. Probably Sabina. I'm going with Sabina, Andrew. Um, <laughs> He wrote it, he, he said it could either be for violin, viola, or cello. Brit, have you made a decision yet? Violin. Violin. <laughs> Strong. Strong call. Here's an excerpt from Andrew Norman's Sabina, maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
welcome Miss Brittany Haas. The work of the great Andrew Norman. Ooh, Art Garfunkel, another November 5th, one of the most instantly recognizable voices in the world. What a singer, what a harmony singer. Part of that, uh, he was part of Simon and Garfunkel, wasn't he? Oh, this is the first song of theirs, I think, that I, I may have ever heard. Um, a, a buddy of my dad's, Ken Fairbanks, gave me a box set, and I'm pretty sure this was the first song on that box set, and I was instantly taken with that duet singing. Uh, here is Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. I can hear the soft breathing of the girl that I love as she lies here beside me asleep with the night and her hair in a fine mist floats on my pillow reflecting the glow of the winter She is soft, she is warm, but my heart remains heavy And I watch as her breasts gently rise, gently fall For I know with the first light of dawn I'll be leaving And tonight will be all I have left to recall I could listen to that music forever and be perfectly satisfied. Again, Miss Madison Cunningham playing the part of Art Garfunkel. So, Artie was a November 5th birthday. Ryan Adams, a November 5th birthday. Also, Johnny Greenwood, a November 5th birthday. The lead guitarist from Radiohead. Radiohead. Uh, this is not just one of my favorite Johnny Greenwood moments, but perhaps one of my favorite guitar moments in recorded music history. Here's the, oh, last minute or so of Radiohead's Just. Johnny's part is so rocking that Brittany and I are having to double up on it, even just to get close. <laughs> one, two, three. You do it to yourself. Johnny Greenwood. Thanks for that solo, man. Nice job, Brent. Um, what better way to end a birthday segment could there ever be than the fact that both Dale Evans, Miss Dale Evans, and Roy Rogers were born in the same week, this week. So, ringing any bells, Roy Rogers, the, the king of the cowboy singers. Miss Dale Evans, his wife, they starred together on The Roy Rogers Show, and I didn't know this until this week. Dale Evans wrote this song. She wrote, Happy Trails. Come on. I, and also, right, I mean, we're never going to end a birthday segment better than Happy Trails. One, two, three, four. Happy Trails. Until we meet again Happy 
trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing the song and bring that sunny weather. Happy trails, all you fantastic musicians.